Everybody's had their massage. <laughs> and if you're ready, somebody broke Sally's arm the other day, so she's playing a mandolin today. I'm just telling you, getting old is dangerous. It is. <laughs> There's just all kinds of things out there that could go wrong. I remember one year I thought, oh my golly, I didn't know elbows could hurt. <laughs> but it beats the alternative, that's right. Well, I don't have any good jokes for you today. Anybody got one? Annie's got one. Annie's got one? Annie's joke is you, Dale. No, it ain't you. <laughs> Annie, where are you? Denial. I didn't say Annie, I said Danny. Well, Danny's got one. Danny. Yeah, he's got one, but he's already told it three times. <laughs> Danny's got one joke. I have to tell people can't remember it. <laughs> oh, okay. What was it? I can't remember. <laughs> Okay. Come on up, Danny. That's too long. <laughs> I'm shorting it up. The guy, the guy wanted to go lion hunt, and he was telling his friend this story back in the States about it. He said, I got a whole crew. We went to Africa, we're out in the jungle, and we're hunting for lions. He said, we come up on a whole pride of lions. He said, and the whole crew got scared. He took off back to camp and left me, left me there all by myself. He said, I figured I'd come to Africa to get a lion. I was going to get one. Absolutely. So I'd do it by myself, he said. So I slipped into the grass that's 14, 16 feet tall. I'm walking around trying to sneak up on one lion. And he says, I realized after a while, I been going in circles. He said, I started to panic. He said, I lost my gun. Uh -oh. He said, I didn't know what to do. He said, I'm just going through the grass like this, opening it up to see. He said, all at once is a lion this far looking me right in the face. And he goes, Grr. Yeah. And he says, I messed in my pants right there. Yeah. And the guy said, well, I would have too if I'd have been that far face to face for a lion like that. that. Gone. He said, I don't mean then. He said, I mean right now when I went, grrr. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. My goodness, my goodness. Hey, Terry, I just wanted to thank you for making that That's lunch okay. possible for all these jammers today. I recommend the taco salad any day of the week. Do we have any more lunches coming up here at Tropic Winds? You still going lunches? Three or four more. Three more? All right. No, I mean, not Friday. No, we've got them. To the end of the month, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So come on out and enjoy a good, healthy lunch here at Tropic Winds. Um, I don't know where Mike Turner is, and by that I mean the lady right here. And I understand she's going to become a permanent resident down here, aren't you, Mike? Stand up, Mike. You and your husband. Where's your husband? Mr. Mike. Butch. Butch. Welcome to Tropic Winds Park and thank you for your service. Yes. Okay, well, we gotta sing to Mike. So Mike, if you I know you don't want to stand back up, but if you would, we're gonna sing happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Are they giving you any of that popcorn that, that Jerry, Jerry and yeah. I mean, I'm addicted to that stuff. <laughs> Happy birthday to you and many more. A couple other things. We got our 50-50 people back there, and that's what buys the cookie dough. So uh, 
actually it buys the ingredients and then they mix them all up and they do their magic and then we get free cookies at break time. So make sure you visit the 50 and 50 people. And I gotta say a few words about that quilt back there. Uh, handmade, I think, and machine made too, by two ladies here in the park. And the proceeds from those, uh, any money that they make on that quilt, and they're giving it away next week, so come to the jam, here at the jam. The money they make for that goes to the abused women's shelter here in Harnage, and so it's for a good cause. They just do that out of the goodness of their heart. And they come over here and uh, sell chances on that. So, yeah, let's give them a round of applause for that, my goodness gracious sakes. And get back there and get you a couple of chances. Donnie, are we all ready to start now, Pearson? We okay now? Now that you're here, we can get going, huh? All righty. Okay, well, my golly, I'm gonna call Jim Park up here because he's always got a good song. And remember, we got one more jam this year. That's next Friday, same time, same place.
things out. This is his other half over here. I was going to say better half. I thought I better not say that. Barb.
a special event today. I don't want to make her nervous, but Rita has been kind of strumming along with us all season. She's going to come up and try one today. I said, don't worry. Don't be nervous. Just come on up and we'll make it work. Because that's what we do. And if we don't, you know what we do? We start over. <laughs> Not that. Bio. Oh, okay. It all started one day when Rita was born. <laughs> okay, I'm Rita. I'm married to Terry over there. We live in Colorado Springs at the base of Pikes Peak. Um, That's too bad. Let me see, what else did you have people tell them? Um, we want to know what you did for a living. Oh, I was a teacher in the elementary school. I, I, did, I, I did regular classroom, but most of my time I was a reading specialist. Okay. What else do you have to know? <laughs> you your size. Okay. Um, let me see. Uh, I've been married to Terry for 47 years. That's Which is pretty good because we only knew each other for nine days before we married. Oh. <laughs> it's a long story. <laughs> what you got for us there? Okay, I have um, Waterloo and uh, there is a chorus to it and I hope uh, everybody around here will join in on the chorus. Yeah, you go Waterloo, poo, 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 poo. And go like that? Oh, if you want. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it says D, but we're actually going to do it in A. A. Oh, I do have a joke though. Come on. I do. All right, let's hear it. You guys be quiet. You heard it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I really like chocolate. Me too. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Right. So this is some facts about chocolate. Okay. Okay. You know, chocolate comes from the cocoa bean. Yeah. Which goes on a tree. Yeah. And a tree is a plant. That's right. I see where you're going with that. Chocolate is sour. <laughs> it's a vegetable. <laughs> Have I sold one enough? <laughs> okay, I think we can sing now. Okay. Waterloo. Waterloo. Give it. Give it. Waterloo.
just got a fan club. Didn't hurt a bit, did it? <laughs> Terry, what do you got for us today? You got a phone. She did a great job, didn't she? Which just goes to show you, there's probably some people sitting out here listening right now who thinks, gee, I, I bet I could sing one up there. So you just need to come and see me about it. Everybody loves a freak show, you know? <laughs> Speaking of Terry Leaper. <laughs> when John was out in Sedona, Arizona area, beautiful area out in uh, Arizona, if you've ever been there, he met a guy named Jim Connors. And he and Jim had shared a bro growing up back in Arkansas, and they could identify with this song, which was Jim's impression of what it was like to be a little boy back in that part of the world. I think John had done similar to that. And uh, I can identify with it too. This is about a story about uh, uh, family getting together and going down to Grandma's house and staying in a big feather bed. Be a deed, gentlemen. Sitting back there in the corner again. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. I'm telling you, it's a hard life around here, isn't it? I thought you just, just go around. <laughs> Watch your step up here. We got a lot stuffed under that rug. Yep. Hold them too. You know what I'd like to hear? Too old to do that. Oh, that's what Mo I was going to say. Little Mo Bandy song here. D and D. If life is like a candle bright, then death must be the wind. so many musicians here that we get a little too loud. So I'm going to have the electric instruments just back off if they would a little bit. I'm going to cut these monitors back just to shade because they're pretty hot. And we're going to cut the house speakers down just a little bit. So and then we'll call you to play your lead and we want you to have some losses in our residents' lives. And I'm sure that's true here and at our age is everywhere. So the circle of life has been broken here and there, but we just live for the promise that we will fly away. So we're going to combine those two for you today in G.
So we have two more to go, and on March 18th at 11.30, we're going to serve Pritza for our jammers. So we'd like to have you all come over uh, once, twice, however many times, or okay. newcomers, the all 18th right. at 11.30. The 18th at 11.30. Pizza. Pizza starts at 12.30. Okay, yes, right? jam starts at 12.30. Just and come we want to the freeway and take the ramp there. Yeah. We'll go right past Sunshine. Thank you for the sandwich today. You're welcome. Excellent. That was Keith and Janice Gebhardt, and they run the jam over at Sunshine this year. So, let's see, is Miss Thelma talking here today? <laughs> Thelma? Oh, there she is. I guess she is standing up. <laughs> Stand up, Thelma. <laughs> That's okay. You to say that. <laughs> Now, well, tell us what you're going to do. I think it's really exciting. It's probably on a lot of these people's bucket lists. I have a very small bucket list. <laughs> and on the top of it and the bottom of it, all the way down, yes. is Israel. So I'm leaving to go to Israel Monday morning, and I am so excited. I will be there for 10 days. Wow. So if you think about me, say a special prayer. Yes, we will. And, say oh, yes, I get to be baptized in the Jordan River, take communion at the oh tomb, and all that kind of stuff. So I am so excited. So you need to friend Thelma Totten on Facebook so you can follow her, her travels in Israel. <laughs> I'm excited. Well, BB was over here. I don't know if he's home yet. That, oh, you know, I have you, a meeting with you. You do? Okay. Well, uh, could you straighten things out for right. President Obama? And, uh, yeah. Because okay, I'm tired of hearing that on the news. It wouldn't take me but a short amount of time. I know. We need a woman. <laughs> over there and get things done. Leaving on your mind in G. I think you all know that. If you got leaving on your mind
Hey! 
Did the cookies come out okay this week? They're good? They're okay, I just want to give you a little recognition because I know you come over here and you and the ladies just bake and bake and bake in that kitchen down there. So thank you very much for that. Don't worry, guys. I let her know that we have one more jam this year, so she knows about it. So there'll be cookies. Um, Danny, but it's not quite time yet. Could you put your guitar back on? And, uh... I posted pictures of Oh, did you really? Yes, Baking the cookies? Yes. I didn't see that. I'm glad I didn't see it, because I'd have had to go to the kitchen and get something to eat when I saw that. Um, okay, Joe, come on up. Donnie, are you singing with her today, or is she just going to do a solo? She's just going to solo it today. Okay. You're not dancing or anything. No? What, did you leave your dancing shoes at home, or? Just a listener today. Okay. Okay. My happiness in G. Keep me shadows make me blue
me if you took it. We got bad, bad times there now. They, they, they say that it was it froze so quick that the ice was still warm. But <laughs> that, that wasn't as bad as that walking down the street and found that little dog that froze the fire hydrant. Oh, no. He wouldn't even be there in just a minute. <laughs> uh, this is a tribute to Mommy. I like this song. I, I, I do done it before. I don't know if I done it here or not. I had it lost and prayed to do it. Me dog here. Yeah, that, it's got a pretty deep manner in it. He got there all wrinkles, cut and cried. She took him up, held him to her breast. He sure was glad to get what Mama offered. Then he went to sleep and put his fear to rest. It didn't seem to matter what he did. He can always count. She sings, by the time I wore the cover off my Bible, my hair was gray and my little man was gone. That always is just, just touching, very touching. Gerald, come on out. We'll try to cry over yours, too. <laughs>
Just making you hold off a little bit. That'll make it taste better. And I didn't want to make Lynn wait until after the break, so. Okay. Well, excuse us. He's going to go use the restroom. And we're going to just kind of wait for him. Go rest high on that mountain of G. George.
cookbooks? Okay, we're going to have some cookies. See you in 10. And I said, uh, I like a bowl of chili. And they said, we don't have any. No chili? I said, well, the guy next to me has got a bowl of chili. And they said, well, that's the last bowl we have. We don't have any more. I said, okay, well, give me a sandwich. So I was eating a sandwich. And I noticed the guy wasn't eating his chili. And I said, well, uh, you're not eating your chili there. He said, no, I don't want it. You can have it. I said, really? He said, yeah. So he gave it to me. I'm eating this chili. I got down to the bottom of the bowl. And yeah. It was awful. There was a dead mouse in my chili. I couldn't hold it. It just came back up. You know, went right back in the bowl and kind of splattered. Ooh. I told the guy I was sorry. I said, man, I should see what was in the bottom of that bowl. He said, don't feel bad. He said, I didn't make it any further than that either. <laughs> Okay, by golly, did you get enough to eat? Yeah, and put it chili. Now, we got a lot of musicians here today, and some people were complaining it's too loud, and I hate that too. So we went back there and we tuned everything down, and I'm just going to tell the, the jammers, if you're not playing the lead part right then, back off a little bit. I know we all try to play so we can hear ourselves, and when we got 25, 30 musicians. Can you hear me now, Dale? So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking some people out there are sitting there doing the same thing. Holy Talia. So uh, I hope this is better for you. But I got a treat for you now. We're going to have a little bit of hoe down here. We're going to have Harold kick us off with a little gold slippers. QG jammers. <laughs> responders here, isn't it, Jeff? <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> okay, A chord, burning bridges. A chord, A chord apples. Found some letters you wrote me this morning. They told you love the love we once knew. Thank you. 
to eat today? Get enough to eat? Almost. He obviously didn't have the pie. puts them up for sale. So, uh, you want to say anything about that, Gary? You going to come up and sing one? Sure. All right. You want to run that for me? Yeah, I can. Set turned on. Don't have any words. Yeah. Yeah, I have these DVDs. I make them uh, every week. They're all edited, and uh, the title of the person's name is right up below their picture. And then there's an index also. So one guy I forgot. I don't know how I forgot, but I forgot him in the, in the index. Was his name Gary Henderberger? I wish it was. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they're $10. And a lot of work goes into them. That's why I charge $10. And uh, this is going to be all my exes live in Texas. And hey. <laughs> Thank you. 
told me you were getting ready to go home. Is there any truth to that? Uh, yeah, I guess best thing. Yeah, well, you know, yeah. You gotta go home. This is gonna be a truck. About the old River, I did swim it in it when I was 17 years old. Down here at Three Rivers, Texas. Mm -hmm. so, it hasn't been played since. Played a lot. <laughs> played a lot. Good buddy ever since. I haven't been able to get the blood out of my drawers since then. Explains the extra arm, is it? to do that, so. I think I'll try again. <laughs> One more pot of $43, right? Oh, you got another time. 
Two clocks. Try to do better this time. Look at all these sad people out here. All in the back, too. Story of my life. Okay, David, I've got it. Dale's going to be mad at you. Is <laughs> <laughs> Dale written on the back? He was, he was on the road. <laughs> this is really strange. The last three numbers on this one is five, seven, eight. <laughs> All right. Right hey. <laughs> Yay, good old Ohio boy. I thought I'd get you one. Yeah, you can thank Dave for that. I'll give you my shirt later. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, we just really thank you all for your participation in our cookies and for buying tickets for our quilt. Um, we do do a great community service, and we do make good cookies. Yeah. Yeah. We hope to see you next week. Thank you. And next year, right? Good Lord willing, we'll all be back here. Just make sure we don't tell our kids what we do down here. Yeah. They'll quit work, and then what are we going to do?
of this road. Carol, start with you. Key of E. I'm sorry. Key of E. Key of E. Echo. You didn't tighten those strings up where they're going to break, did you? All righty. <laughs>
I got a slung out of the wagon on that one. <laughs> My wife got a sore throat about three times a week when we had this conference. I know, I think that is a chronic condition you get that you get that so much I, so. yeah. I, I told Harold I was going to do a long haired song. Actually, the guy that sang it had long hair. I like this one. The it's fun. Yeah, indeed. John Anderson, right? That's right. I never did see him because he was here the other day. I got on YouTube. Yeah, hair down about halfway down his back, I think. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was pretty good looking. Except <laughs> <laughs> he had a beard to go along with. <laughs> Sometimes they have earrings now, it's hard to tell. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Person could get confused at our age, bad you know, eyes. <laughs> when I was a young man, you wouldn't carry a little radio about that big. Then they come out carrying them on their shoulders. Yeah. And pull them in wagons. Hard, it's hard to tell how big they weigh. It's just hard to keep up when you get older. I know. It's yeah. It's going to be in. Uh, hey. 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 Yeah. Hey. 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 Hey.
Uh, I don't know the kid's first name, no, he's from Pretty Prairie, Kansas. What was the name of that town? Pretty Prairie. Pretty Kansas. Prairie, Kansas. All right, I like that. Uh, six foot five young man. I think we're going to be in the key of D. B and D, and my wife will be somewhere. All right.
I'll see you too. <laughs> okay, bye. Good job, Daryl. Uh, and then it's going to probably play two songs at the same time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we tried this a long time ago. Okay. Going to play two songs at the same time. One's in G and the other's in F. <laughs> that makes it a special one. Wait a minute. In C. Both of them in C. Both of them? Play with that. Ready? jams after hours. You, know. <laughs> you stick around, you don't know what you're going to say. <laughs> <laughs> 
with Cole Yoakum, Y-O-A-K-U-M, Tropic Winds. You'll get all the jams for the last, what, five years or so? Yes, Once you put something on YouTube, it's there forever. And I think he's been doing it for five years. So, Cole Yoakum, Tropic Winds, and you can spend the next year. You can see how young we used jams. to look. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Key of C, Charlie, an old Ray Price song, Take Me As I Am or Let Me Go. Why must I always try you might Let's try that again. See, Why must you always try to make me over?
Yeah. Old man made that pistol. Oh, he did? Yeah. Old man made it. Who? He a lot of I've been losing. Yeah, he made that. Yeah. 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 He makes pistols. <laughs> thing we do today is to give the uh, glory to the country where we were born that we love so much so if you'll stand we'll do that when you're down here you'll be home at 3 30 you can get your nap in we can all go to dinner <laughs> Harold and Dave and I and Barb Troyer over at River Ranch.